You know what time it is. It's time to slay the spire. Uh, 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 uh. Damn it. Forgot about this run, and then I remembered it and became sad. Because that was, that, that was a pretty one run. And then... Got slapped. Got slapped right in the, right in the luck. Right in the heart of the card, just... Heart to heart. We had a heart to heart. And it didn't go well. Uh, my heart gave out. Turns out, uh, the Spire's heart is, like, massive. And filled with power. Instead of blood, so... Makes things difficult, you know? Can I... Ooh, ah, you, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, you, ah, ah. It's a Banjo-Kazooie character there for a second. I got excited. Sometimes when I get too excited, I turn... I turn into a fucking... Animal person from a rareware title for the N64. Man, now I just want to listen to the opening to Donkey Kong Country. This is why we can't have nice things. Can I do a thing? No. Remove a card. Bullshit. Ooh. Uh. uh that's a lot of cool headeds. Okay. Okay. So I think I'm taking FTL. Cool headed. None of those. Out of JMM. FTL cool headed rebound. Ball lightning. Yeah. We're, no, we're not taking like double cool headed. Blizzard. That's not happening. Or I guess we could have taken triple cool headed. Well, eh. this is not too bad because I can still make orbs reasonably well. That was like a lateral move. I don't know if that's really better or worse. It means I can be a bit more choosy uh, with my card rewards in the actual act. Can I? Because I've already got some extra damage in there. But I'm also, like, down damage, because I don't have a free lightning orb every turn. Ooh. I got three more damage. You know what I mean? Alright, you're dead. Yeah, that's a doom and gloom. That's a doom and gloom. Man, having a ball lightning on floor one makes uh makes zap extra shitty. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Frost orb being handy. As one would expect a frost orb to be. Barrage. It'd be a bit better if I still had a thingy thing, but we have four orb breeding cards. Plan is to remove some strikes. Eh, no, I'll skip it. All for one, any good. No. <laughs> Loop! It's probably not as good as strike removal. Okay, third hallway fight. It's a bird. It's a plane. Don't think I want to rebound the zap. If it were a free zap, I'd do it, but... It ain't. Thank you very much, Liv. Hi. <laughs> Had to clip it to get the grunts right. Good to know. Good to know I'm being clipped for my grunts. 
That's a pretty good deep rank. Fuck, I've got so many good cards to upgrade. I don't think that Zap is going to get an upgrade for a long time. If ever. Because, like, Defrag is probably better than it, and Doom and Gloom is probably better than it. It wasn't even really that good. A, uh, like, Banjo-Kazooie thing. That was just the first thing that came to mind. I don't remember what it was. I was making something in the kitchen, like, a couple days ago. And I just, like, caught myself just, like, randomly making fucking Kazooie noises. And I've never played Banjo-Kazooie. And I was just like, what the fuck am I doing? Fair enough. Uh, die? Worth clipping. Gotcha. Well, we've had... Hmm, we've been in this situation before. And it worked out pretty well. At least for Act 1. I get extra bonfire. I think I'm gonna upgrade Doom and Gloom before I upgrade the second deep rag. Lantern. Okay, so we got a lot of extra energy, potentially. Uh, this is a bit scary. I did just upgrade Doom and Gloom. Huh. Hmm, shit. I should have attacked this one. Okay. Take another nine. Good news is, you're dead. Okay. I think I will take genetic algorithm. Thank you. Really? I guess the last one was technically an event and not like a fight fight, but still. Ooh, yikes. I'm gonna dual cast that. Because I'd really rather not be harmed so much. God, I wish I still had that Frost Orb. I think it actually would have prevented more damage at this point than I saved from dual casting it. Yeah. This time I have way more Frost Orbs in my deck than I did last time we had double defrag. Hello. Oh, I did have a capacitor too. Or no, I had like Runic Capacitor and it consumed. That was it. That is an 87 gold C. I cannot afford Seek and Capacitor. Uh, yeah, it's like these three are the three things that I like, and I cannot get two of them. I can only get one of them. See, uh, it's gotta be Seek. Seek is just, like, a lot of power to add to a deck. It, like, gets better the better things you have to grab. Throw the weak potion at him here. Uh, what to see? The other defrag seems to be good on him. That. Perfect. Okay. 
Okay, I don't want to pop this yet. Alright, that wasn't too bad. A kunai. A biased cog. Ooh, do I need to nap again or not? Last time we did this, we were against Hexaghost. Uh, uh, Hexaghost doesn't sit on you for like 38 damage on turn 3. Yeah, this guy doesn't care how low your health is. He's gonna he's gonna fucking squash you all the same. Could use a potion. I think this one I got an app. Forgo a defrag upgrade. Oh god, I've got like a fuck a bajillion energy. Could have rebound something useful. <clears throat> oh, something tells me this is gonna hurt. Great block. Oh, fuck. Doing that made sure Doom and Gloom was not reshuffled back in. Uh, he's taking 12 more. If it's not going to 82, this will split him. Yeah, I think we try to go real hard right here. Can I split him? 14, 21, possible. Oh, I'd really like that dual cast. It's not even in my deck anymore. Shit. Well, that changes things a bit. That is 44 damage. Please, please, Zara and Jesus, let the lightning hit that front man. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I napped. Get out of here. Full block? Okay, cool. Put it all together. Kunai didn't do anything. Feels kind of bad. I could sometimes play Meteor Strike on turn one. That's a skip. First key. First key. Okie dokie. I don't have a ton of money. Who can I fight? I have four energy. And some okay card draw and deceit. I have a single Doom and Gloom plus. It's not... Hmm. I can kill Backslaver by, like, turn two. But it's, like, not crazy likely. Because I can't control where a lot of my damage goes. Same issue with, uh... Gremlin Leader. Focus Stabbing offensively were pretty good. 
Howdy, you fast ass panda. Might just go for one boy. Yeah, that looks a little deadly. Four hallway fights, three bond. Wait. Yeah, three bond fires. Whereas this is. Five hallway fights, three bond fires. And no shop. I think a shop at this point might be pretty good. Yeah, book stabs hard, but I think I can kill book pretty quickly. The problem with the other two is that all the lightning demons just kind of flies everywhere. Whereas I need to be able to, like, kill specific targets in those fights. I guess Book is stabbing, it's like, well, there's the one boy. He's gonna get hit with the big dark orb, he's gonna get hit with all the big lightning. You know, you have you have around the same amount of health that you've gotta dig through. Um, in all three elite fights. It's just how it's split up. Okay, so I don't wanna hit this shop. Greetings, Shellid Parasite. I need like a big block card. <laughs> Currently, that's genetic algorithm. That's unfortunate. Activated kunai. Could have blocked two more there. This is what we call the yikes moment. Jesus, again? Okay, uh, that blocks for 18 at least. Also, that. Alright, pretty rough fight so far. Also, I do have this uh, Liquid Bronze for a Book of Stabbing. Um, I'm already full blocking, so I'm just gonna punch him. I actually dug myself out of Frail through Kunai. I lost upwards of 20 health. I don't think I can say no to a cool headed plus here. As decent as a leap would be, cool headed plus is like real, real good. Yeah, a glacier would be very nice. I'd even take an equilibrium. I want to put the dual cast on top, but I don't want to get rid of this dark orb. Going up by like 12 a turn. Cool, I just have to accept that this is going to suck. That's already full block. Well, I could do that anyway. Okay, now I can start working on, like, demolishing this guy. Good. Are we fighting the champ? No. Blizzard is so goddamn slow. Getting quite a lot of frost, though. We're up to three cool headeds. He's got like 50 something health. I hit two bonfires. 
42 health. I think I like have to use Doom and Gloom here. This also gives me one point of dexterity, meaning I'll only be at minus three dexterity. Twelve, twenty-four, thirty-four. Oh, I think I've died. He's gonna have a big fucking shield. Yeah, I'm just gonna be for way too much damage. Can't rotate these orbs. I got more block again. Conquered! Conquered. Speaking of rare, Conquered Bad Fur Day. There we go. Gonna need a new map. Yeah. Also, a new life. Because I lost this one to a big fat man in a red mask. <laughs> it was not pleasant. Create a card or 99 gold for a random rare or relic. Shibidi hey. It looks like a reasonable path. Not very many hallway fights. Two elites. Two bonfires. Fight a slime man. No shop, so I don't need to worry about losing the gold. Yeah. I like it. No way I can take like four elites this act. I remember last time I got a fossilized helix right off of the whale and I took four elites in act one. There are like two bonfires interspersed between them though. That's not the case here. Okay, Lefi. Just quote all the lyrics to I'm the scat man and attribute them to me. Hey Matsu, how's it going? Yeah, I guess that's the way we go. Well, I can't full block this. Hmm. It'd still take eight though. Floor one sword boomerang, sure. I think remove is correct here. I see. So I'm weak. Four thirteen, by the way. I can't block this anyway. No card changes, just bug fixes? Hmm. We'll see. Man, if... It's been so long, like, I was excited, and then, like, it's been so long that I've, like... Kinda, kinda just stopped thinking about the Watcher altogether. Now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, nah. Nah, it's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna get, like... My fucking ass crushed over and over again. I think I can... So normally, because we're fighting Slime Tony and Disarm's not very good against Slime Tony and, you know, we could use, like, a bit more damage in the deck, normally I'd be like, ugh, I gotta give up Disarm, but, like, I can take a bunch of extra punishment thanks to Fossilized Helix, including this man's giant sit-on-you attack. So I think I'm just gonna take the Disarm. Can, foss <laughs> can Fossilized Helix tank Shining Light? I wish. All right. I don't have any money. Rip a bag of prep. 
I'm not super torn up about anything else here. Yeah, like, I also wanted, like, the, the, the long time away from the Watcher so I can kind of go back at it fresh. Like, I kind of remember a bit of how she felt, but it's like, I did not have a very solid grasp of her at all. I had a very, had a very liquidy grasp. Fucking, a noodly grasp, at best. So it's like, it only took, like, a month or so for that all to just kind of, like, slip away. So it's just like, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure her out. I will disarm you, and there's nothing you can do about it because you don't have eyes. Did you see what I did there? I will disarm you. Well, I guess he didn't see what he, what I did because he doesn't have eyes. He can't see what anyone does. Get out of here, Jawworm. Uh, I don't really want to cleave, but I... Should probably put some more damage in the deck for Slime Tony. It's like Fossilize's Helix is good, but it's not. It's not gonna stop everything. Okie dokie. That was my body, you've lasered. Give him the business? Cool. I think he'll be dead not by this it's Oh, we did kill him by the next time he attacked. How lucky. I was gonna say not by this attack, but by the attack after that. But turns out I was wrong and I just, like, killed him. Created sword boomerangs. Not bad. Having some strength would also be kind of cool. He's already down to 12, so two strikes will get him. A uh, single sword boomerang will get him. Cool. That actually wasn't that bad, considering I only had like 40-something health going into this fight. Did use a potion. I will take... Strike. Come on. Come on. Gonna hit one of them. Oh, Momori. Oh, Momori. Collecting all the strike. Um, I think I should probably upgrade the cleave. Just because Slime Tony. He said a boy. Hmm, disarm is kind of nice here, however. Doesn't even matter for the first attack he does anyway. It's a lot of damage turn one. I think I might just give him the business. No, I can give him the business next turn. I should block some of this. Yeah, he's real dead. See ya. I don't see Barricade doing anything. So I'm not gonna pick it. We are going to remove that sword. I wouldn't have had enough energy or uh, enough uh, money for it anyway, because I just paid 75. Right? So I would have had what? 303? Magic Flower is very nice, though. I don't really want to remove a Strike Plus. Wow, almost every attack in this deck is upgraded. Talisize seems fine. Anchor's really good. Does Anchor and Fossilized Helix, do they step on each other's toes a bit? I guess sometimes. If I'm taking, like, 14 damage or something on turn one. And you're just like, ah, oh, Anchor. You don't do anything. Or like if I'm taking- or, no, well, 14 you can play one defend, but, uh, like... 
Shelled Parasite. If I'm taking like 21 damage on turn one, I'd have to play like two defense and then some. Yeah, so I actually don't think it's that good because I've already got the helix. <laughs> Fuck you, Zeech! You're a nerd! Wait, what was the... What was the fucking command? Whatever. Thank you very much, Jinnerling. This isn't any good against Slime Tony, but it's very good against a lot of other folks. You can get Meal Ticket as like, as like a non-shop relic in the beta too, can't you? Yeah, I think I'm still removing the strike. And probably napping? Yeah, this is not a great deck. It's mostly just fossilized helix. Gonna put him at seventy six. Mm. Really don't want those extra slams in my deck. Rail and weep. Oh boy. Okay. Metal size has managed to eat six damage so far. Been like barely worth playing. I will cleave, and then I'll kill. Wait. Okay, cool. If we're just down to gray slime, then I think we can handle this. Okay. Yeah. So there's a cleave reshuffled in. So that should help somewhat. Health is not ah uh, very high. I'm still alive. I have one health. Still alive. Metallicize. Uh, still alive. Metallicize. 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 Holy shit! Doesn't care about your frailty. Well, that was close. Did I mention this deck isn't very good? Yeah, no strength. Thank you very much, JMM, and live high. Yeah, a single, like, inflame would have helped a lot. It would still help a lot. I'm just gonna take Immolate. Oh, baby. I really wish I could have taken Magic Flower. Magic Flower plus Fossilized Helix? That's great. That's great. But I didn't have enough, so. Bumer. This deck isn't even that good at smorking people down. Otherwise, I'd just take the coffee dripper. Huh. 
Okay, so we're basically gonna, like, rely on Fossilized Helix pretty heavily. It's like, well, we'll see if I'm taking damage. Because at least the very first time, I'm not. And then after that, it's a mystery. Excuse me. Who leads two bonfires? Double Disarm's pretty good against Book of Stabbing. Uh, Immolate's good against Slavers. And... Gremlin Leader. Especially if you get to, like, bash Immolate in one turn, that's like 41 damage. God, this deck only has 15 cards in it. Hmm. Fighting Bronze Automaton. Which means I need to figure out some way to survive. His Hyper Beam? That seems hard. Hmm. Do I want to go for two elites? Let's see. I know you're not doing dick. Well, yeah. There's like almost no value to those here because of those artifacts. Now he's attacking me for 11. Now he's attacking me for 22. The Talisize doesn't do anything this turn. It starts doing things later. 11 again. Except he dies. I don't think Armaments is good enough. Uh, it hits Disarm, which is kind of good. It also hits Immolate. Here we go. Attacking me for 21. I know that much. I think I'm going to upgrade this one. Now he's hitting me for 18. Let's see... So normally he'd either be attacking for 12 or 7 times 2, but since I disarmed him, it goes down to 9 or 4 times 2. Did I say 9 or 4 times 2? I meant 7 or 2 times 2, which are baby numbers. Two times two, I like it. All right, yeah, let's get that metallicize out there. Oof, that was a big one again. Wait a minute. Flame Barrier Plus? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Jesus Christ, I'm trying to dodge shops. This is like the third event shop I've had this run. Feel No Pain Battle Trance. Even though pain doesn't currently do very much, it could do something in the future. Does Battle Trance do that much? Eh, not at this point. Oh, Momori! Hmm. Gambling Chip is a lot better if I know what the opponent is doing on turn one. All right, let's get in there. Toss all of these, because I know they're not attacking turn one. Interesting. Okay. He could be attacking or not attacking, or God knows what else. Fuck! 
I really needed one of those to hit him. Okay, so I need this block to stop him from breaking my helix. Okay, good. Oh, you know what? If you, playing Feel No Pain might have been a lot smarter than playing Metallicize. He's gonna keep fucking blocking and you can't stop me. I mean, he can, because he's putting dazes in my deck. Mmm. Yikes. And of course, Feel No Pain is on the bottom the second time through instead of on the top. Thirty-two health, okay. Mm, it's not what I was looking for. Okay. So, Bash and Emulator both down there. Of course, I'm weakened. Might be a little fucked. Dead? No, Entangled. Fuck. There's gonna be a bunch of attacks, isn't it? Now I'm dead. Oh, I needed that bash immolate to clear the backslaver. Did not work out super well. I figured I had a pretty good chance with the gambling chip, but apparently not. Whose fault is this, Jainerdling? Kaneda! Fair enough. That's Mr. Kaneda to you, punk! Thank you very much. I guess I'm gonna transform a card and see what happens. I really like this path. I either get three bonfires, three elites, or four bonfires, two elites. Very safe. Of course, it's Slime Tony up top. Let's see what we transform into. That's an upgrade. I'll take it. He goes down to nine, right? I'm willing to take one here. In order to slap him with the Predator. Dagger spray? Yeah, we're fighting this guy. And I don't have to worry as much about making sure that I can kill Lagavulin because I already have a Predator in the deck, and that's a pretty good card against Lagavulin. Really, it's good against all three of the Act 1 Elites. It's just like a decent card. I believe I am blocking. Yikes. Knock him down to 19. Next for Okay, I think I'm good here. So I should either be able to kill him or just full block. And then next turn he's likely to die. I literally need any other damage. Cool.
Yeah, I'll take a piercing wheel. Down two strikes. I can still remove a card. Yep. Okie dokie. Hmm. Can I kill him? Can. It takes all my energy, though. If I kill him, I take seven. If I don't kill him... Well, actually, if I kill him, I take five. If I don't kill him, I take six. Hmm. Well, when you put it that way... Oh, no. I take s seven. Because I have to use the neutralize to kill him, too. Right. Unfortunate. Taking acrobatics here. I got a predator and a dagger spray, which puts me in a pretty good position for sentries. I think I'm gonna upgrade the neutralize. I have no potions. Hello, big boy. Uh, what am I holding? Fuck. I guess I'll hold acrobatics. Now nah, this sucks. <laughs> oh, fuck. Does this suck? Not enough density of attacks, I think. I might be able to deal 21 damage in a turn. If I, like, redraw Predator. I did not redraw Predator. God damn it. Okay, well that was uh, way rougher than I thought it would be. Giria is not exactly what I'm looking for here. I have to skip this one. <laughs> because that was unbelievably rough. Incense burner. I'm going to heal 22. Okay. So now I need to start working on our defensive profile. It's possible I wanted to put Predator there. Over the fumes. I need to line this up for three. Yeah, I need to line this up for three. What is that? It's like 15. Okay. He's going to be dead. Five, and then seven. I'm only going to need two damage to kill him. So that'll do it. Perfect. Predator, flying knee, or another dagger spray. I think another dagger spray? I already have a noxious fumes. 
Flying knee is pretty good. That extra energy is really juicy. Okay. So I need this fight to finish. Oh, this is going to be really hard to to line up correctly unless I'm just like holding a predator. Yeah, I think I want to hold the dagger. So you're gonna get three poison and six damage, so you're already dead. Shit, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this in time. Unless I get like Dagger Spray Predator off the top. Um, there's no way to make this last another six turns. I don't think I'm going to split him before he uh, does his stomp. Crap. I really needed this to be a hallway fight. Time to upgrade footwork. I think this is the part where I uh, lift. Yeah. Yeah, this is the part where I lift. All right, big boy. Incense burner's on the wrong spot, but it's not going to stop me. Unless it does. I mean, it very well could. I guess, if I'm thinking about it. At least be weakened for it. Ten, twenty... Five, thirty... Can knock him down to 82. Looks like a bad plan. Also, I just like nearly full blocked it, so I guess I was fine the whole time. Gonna take seven, goes down to 95. Excuse me, then another eight. Push him at 87, then another eight. No. That's 77. How much damage is coming up? A lot? Okay. I really, 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 really need to draw Predator here. Good. Piercing Whale seems like a good card to hold on to here. Okay, 46 is a pretty decent split. I split at 23, so you're already splitting. And you're also already splitting. I won't need piercing well for next turn on account of the uh, incense burning. Perfect. Okay. And then, yeah, Noxious Fume should be doing a lot of the rest. Alright, cool. Now, next turn, as soon as I draw some damage, 
should be able to kill any problem causers. You, you, and you. Cool. That wasn't bad at all. I only took like four damage or something. Uh, flex pot, ancient pot. Uh, 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 hmm. Hmm, yeah, uh, hmm. Hmm. Probably corpse explosion? Adrenaline's really good, though. The corpse explosion? That gives us a lot of AoE. Two dagger sprays with some strength. Uh, noxious fumes. And corpse explosion. Yeah. It's not nightmare. Adrenaline's great. Am I dropping the dex pot for a big. Big, big, big fight. How hmm, how good is that combo, really? In this deck, with f six attacks? Still not bad. Although the two dexterity is also really good. I'm taking four. Nekawai or Sozu? Nice try, or Nick try, says Sneko. I haven't added any block cards to the deck. So Sneko is gonna fuck me for a while. Let's get fucked. Okay. Got the Predator, got the Corpse Explosion. Footwork, Noxious Fumes. I'm afraid to fight an Elite at this point. Yikes. The Corpse Explosion is great for slavers. Sorry, I lied. I... I Added a piercing will to the deck. It's kind of like a block card. That's uh, that's three elites, two bonfires. I'm just not gonna do that. Probably take at least one elite though. That's one elite, one bonfire. Fuck, that's so bad. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! Shit! I'm gonna just start climbing. Nothing wrong with getting down with the snack. Is that what they teach you in schools nowadays? Okay, I'm less worried about dazes. On account of the drawing lots of cards. Even more cards, even. Even more cards, even. Even more cards, odd? Even more cards, zod. Like, general zod. You know what I mean? I think you do. I think I would like to upgrade this well at this point. I don't want incense burning on. Three. I'm gonna fight an elite. Three. Oh, he's dead? Cool. Thank God for that. Oh, I don't have a Sozu. Right. So I can do this. No, these seem pretty bad. <laughs> Considering. Oh, we're looking at cards. Flask? I need more defensive stuff. I think I'm just taking Piercing Wheel. Dodging Roll's not bad. Especially with a Footwork Plus in the deck.
Everything here costs one or zero except for that bouncing flask. All right. Giving him the screams. Hmm. That's a full Omomori. No, I'm gonna leave. Birds. So I need corpse explosion. Yeah. I need to target... Oh, I should have targeted this bird. I should have just targeted the lowest health one. Hmm. Oh, farts. Uh, it's a pretty good scream, though. No noxious fumes. It's gonna make this harder. Do have a second scream? Uh... That's not a great one. Was that uh sixteen? Yeah, sixteen damage from birds. At least it's over now. I will take and venom. God damn it. Ah, I guess it is the third uh, event. Everything in my hand costs two, the musical. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have used that ancient pot. A. Um, no, this whole hand sucks. Just gonna put it out there. This whole hand sucks. Playing in Venom. Which honestly isn't very good against this guy, but... It's what I'm doing. I am going to scream at you. And you are going to like it. I got two poison. Hold up, which order they, do they apply in? Do they apply the left one first or the right one first? Like, do they push themselves down? Because he does weak and vulnerable. Wow, really? Fuck me. Well, let's find out. Okay, he made me weak, but not frail. Well, other piercing whale. God, I hate this. <laughs> Fucking ugh. Ugh. All right, I'm all fuck. I'm all out of whales. Another eight. Okay. That was rough. I think I like the crippling cloud better. with upgrading the light plans is sometimes it just keeps costing three forever. Ah, uh, fuck. Possible I should have napped here, considering how many hallway fights I still have to go through. I see. You will have your corpse exploded. This is non-negotiable. Might be where I end up using that weak potion.
Or Crippling Cloud, that works. Okay, so I'm taking some damage. This much I've sorted out on my own. Yeah, this is not going super well. <laughs> It's all just defense. That's all I have. And I keep costing two energy. <sighs> he healed too. How dare he? Die. Keep dying. I need. I just need to add more block cards to the deck. I just gotta. <laughs> Oh boy, yeah, if I'd fought any elites, I just would have gotten turbo shrekt. I'm gonna have a decent amount of money for here. Enjoying the better Twitch TV emotes I see. I guess I might be able to use calipers in the future at some point. Maybe. Hey. Fuck. Um, okay. I can do this. That. This. Alright, disputes. Yeah, there's only like five different ones that I have available. Uh, and I have the one unique one that I made. Type curse Tavros as one word with a capital T for Tavros. I think. No, 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 no capital C. Just the T. There we go. He's coming for you. <laughs> you don't, you don't like him? You don't like Curse Tavros? He just wants to give you a hug. Forever. By God, this hand sucks. Eh. Forever and ever. Yep. I don't know why I'm putting Venom in the deck. Because I was like, ah, Sneko Eye. It's a two cost card. It'll. Do good sometimes, maybe. I guess it's like okay ish. Uh, lethal? Leaf? No? Uh, I guess it's screaming time then, because fuck me. Let's take another six. No biggie. Gotta get through two more hallway fights at least. Not to mention that shopkeep. A wily character, that one. I imagine he's gonna suplex me or something. Calculated Gamble Plus is a lot better without a Sneko Eye. It's pronounced Teethel. I don't think that's true. I think you're telling lies. I assume that means you're going to go brush your teeth then? for well laid plans. Nice. I'd rather play the neutralize next turn so that way he's weak for both turns. Oh he's already weak. Whoops. So that knocks him down. Okay, cool. Poison's going up. The 
one cost predator. Oh, I think he's dead. I uh, didn't think that one through. Okay, cool. Yeah, the lack of extra gold, extra rares, and extra relics is going to really hurt. I took a backflip last time. I will take another already upgraded footwork. Leg sweep. And happy flowering. Should help out a bit. Give me something. Uh, oh, I don't really have the ancient pot to go with the speed potion anymore. I'm gonna... Yep. Yep. I'll sweep the leg. I'll sweep so much more than the leg. I'll be beyond sweeping. Oh, shit. Oh, I need to time this. Okay, hold up. It's attack buff, attack buff, hyper beam, right? So I want it on one. Because it'll be two, three, four, five, six. I want this on one. Boom. Okay, that's going to be a little hard to arrange. Especially if I ever play a corpse explosion. I don't think it's... Oh, no, 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 you're right. You're right, Zyra. Yeah, yeah, because his first turn... There's a... There's a... There's an extra turn here where he summons. It's summon, attack buff, attack buff. Hyper beam. So I need to kill them either like 6 or 12 turns from now. I don't think I'll hold either of these. It means I might not be playing Corpse Explosion because that might end the fight too quickly. Keep the one cost neutralized. Also gotta pay attention to Happy Flower too. Um I put six poison on him. He's at turn two, so I put six poison on him, he goes up to nineteen. Ah, uh, this is gonna be really hard to factor in because of the healing. Yeah, he'd be taking damage from poison five times. 13, 15, 17, 19, 21. Which is like what? 30, 64. It's like 80-ish. That increases it by about 30. Fuck, I forgot about that. Oh, that adds extra poison. Yeah, I'm just gonna assume... Oh, fuck. She's gonna heal him 20 every turn. Now I need to just, like, stop hitting him. <laughs> oh, no, I'm fucked. He's taking more damage than... No, 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 this still works. It's still good. It's still good. This is the part where I wish I had a... Bullet Plants Plus. Oh, but she's attacking this turn. Fuck. Nah, Corpse Explosion is going to kill her.
Hmm. So this is gonna go off the turn after Hyperbeam, in which he's buffing. So. Yeah, because she functionally has like 60 health. She's gonna take his explosion and also her own poison damage. For like 98. She's very, very dead. Well, that might cost the run. Almost certainly going to have to nap here. I think I'm just gonna play well laid plans here. Uh, I'll hold on to the Grip on Cloud though. Two footwork pluses, so that should help out somewhat. Piercing Whale hits him now, too. Another three cost Noxious Fumes. gonna play it. Cool. Oh, thanks, Happy Flower. I could try to build up a ton of block off of calipers? Eh, that's not gonna work very well this turn. guys are already dead next turn. This will take a one cost defend. <sighs> okay, okay. Wow, that's a lot of block. I think I get to keep some of this. Correct, this is not Netflix. I do get to keep some of this. Okay. Alright, up to 31 poison. All of our attacks, so long as they bust through his shield, count as poison cards as well. May as well scream. Okay. I think I got him. Turns out I didn't ruin the run. Turns out Sex Dex there and the Calipers lets you do a lot of baloney. Increase his poison here. Not much point in keeping neutralized. He's weak for seven turns, which is mathematically going to be longer than he's going to be alive for. The poison. His next attack should be his hyper beam.
Okay, I think I got him. I don't... Did I lose health? Did I lose any health? I'm not sure I did. Hmm. Bummer? Oh, I mean, not bummer, but... It means I could have upgraded something. Or... Lifted. Unfortunate. One, I lost... Oh, yeah, you're right. I did lose one HP. Oh, there's a Wraith form there. There's also a Nightmare here. I've lifted at least once. It's really hard to gauge Wraith form. Because, like, I won't... I won't know how fast I can kill dudes a lot of the time, because I don't know how much stuff is going to cost. Nightmare's pretty obnoxious with the well-laid plans. And, like, footwork. What do I do against Awakened One? Nightmare Piercing Whale? Hmm. Correct. Correct. Nice try. It copies them exactly, including their cost. Because Snekawai only randomizes the cost of a card when you draw it. It's so like if you pull it out of your graveyard, if you're the defect, or if you nightmare it, if you copy with anything, really, uh, it maintains its cost. You hit a, a wall? Which wall would that be? I think I'm going to take the nightmare. Really like an energy relic. However, that's probably suicide. Me thinks. Ori, it is. Uh, backflip. I'll take another lake sweep. Uh, I don't want any of those. Okay. Backflip, leg sweep. So I want acrobatics. I'll take a bouncing flask plus. It's a normal wall, like in a house. Mm. We should stop hitting the wall then. I think one more acrobatics is fine. So I think we've got a decent amount of card draw. I don't have a fourth energy relic though, which is kind of a bummer. Okay, we're fighting Awakened One, so... That's not great. Now I need to find... I have the Nightmare. What the fuck? Oh, I've done this before. This has happened before. It's not Awakened One anymore! Alright, well, we're gonna keep going until it's Awakened One again. Wait. Ah! Yeah, if you don't hit return, if you fucking hit your deck button again, it goes back to this screen. And then it just fucking regenerates the Act 3. Okay, well, I didn't get a very good look at what the Act 3 was like the first time. Okay. So, I'll, I'll keep the same boss, because otherwise it's kind of cheating. But, um, I have to fight Superboy. Uh-oh. Uh, ooh. Bro, fuck me. I'd kind of like to keep rolling. I'd kind of like to keep rolling. Generate a different Act 3. This Act 3 sucks. I'm not going to roll it again. What happens if I... Hold up. What happens if I save and quit? Might have rng the second boss. Yeah, but there's no way of knowing about that. There's no way of knowing, so it's like... It's functionally identical. It puts me here. Is this the same? No! So is this the first one I had, or is this another new one? I could save and quit again to find out. 
I have to fight. Oh, fuck, you're up there? Ew. Ah, ooh. Um, I can go this way. This is the first one? Hold up. Someone's saying this is the first one. Someone's saying this is the new one. First one had a path with six question marks in a row. Holy shit. Asked it again. Oh god, I fucked up. No, no, no. Oh god, I might have I might have screwed up the test. Uh-oh. No, I've encountered this, uh, I've encountered this glitch before. I knew, I knew the cards here would be the same. Because of, uh, I've done, I've done it with, um, Astrolabe before, and I've randomized the exact same cards. Into the exact same cards. You know, this is exactly the same. This is the same. Yep. This may not be the first one, but... Oh boy. What is this deck good against? Might be okay against Reptomancer. We've got extra strength on Dagger Spray, Corpse Explosion, Crippling Cloud. Excuse me. There's a lot of cards though that aren't those cards. Giant head, um, if I nightmare footwork, then I probably trivialize giant head pretty hard. <laughs> and I could probably do the same thing against Nemesis. Am I going for two elites? One bonfire? What about hallway fights? Thinking about transient. Thinking about spaghetti monster. Fire some setup. No! Stop! Stop doing that! Jesus fucking Christ. I don't want to re randomize. Okay. We're not looking at the goddamn deck. Really wish I could go this way and not fight two dudes. I know I gotta click return, but that's just the way I do it. I just like click the same button. It should work, but it doesn't because it's dumb. All right, let's rock and roll. There, now we're fine. We're out of the hole. That's a bunch of free poison. Jesus. Wow. Okay. Um, I guess he's dying. Seems like a... I'd really like to put corpse explosion on him, but this might be... Piercing whale kind of moment. You know? Yeah. Either way, like... Oh, Jesus. Wow, he's really dying. Yeah, the poison's gonna catch up to all of them pretty quickly. Oh. A whole bunch of two cost footworks coming down the pipe. Oh, hey, I win. Yeah, I think I'll take 
one explosive potion over those. I want another deadly poison. I don't think so. I think our poisons expanded quite a lot. The Crippling Cloud plus the Envenom. The Bouncing Flat. Yeah, no, no, no. We're good. We're good. There's no shop on this path, is there? Nope. However, if this Oma Mori's ever going to do anything, it's going to be right here, right now. Show me the money. Chop? Ah, uh, <laughs> I think... Tomb of Lord Red Mask. I think perhaps that asking price is a little steep. I think we as a collective should form a breakdancing crew. I will be our leader naturally. We should all start with learning to head spin. Who is in? Not I. I am taking a bunch of damage. Huh. That sucks. Um, I'm actually not taking that much. I'm taking like three. I'm not even taking that much. Thread needle is a kingly relic. Hmm. Good like that nightmare actually costs us three, and that makes me sad. I'm looking for 18, so I can like. Hmm. I'm about to take a bunch of damage. Hell money? What? Oh! Do I want to go this way? I get out of two hallway fights and exchange them for an event and an elite. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, cool. Uh, it should. Yep. Actually, wasn't like 100% sure, but I was like 65% sure. Die. Nope. Yeah, we're going for it. <gasps> Man can only inhale so much. Jesus. I need a courier. Is Shuriken ever going to do anything? Yeah, if we had any sort of healing... Running Dodecahedron might actually be, like, not the worst thing in the world, but we don't. I'm gonna drop this or that. I want, like, an actual Caltrops in the deck. I don't think it's necessary. Um, Dider Dice, a lot less good when it's not. One cost. only five ways to turn around in this deck so I think I'm not playing the other strike or removing the other strike yeah I actually don't want anything else here yeah this is like more money than I could possibly want to spend unless the act four I I have a fucking membership card now that's like having 16 like 1700 and 68 gold Five. Yeah. There are like six attacks in the deck. I only have three energy. Let's see. What does that hold up? What does that put me down to? 130. Hold up. 884 minus 137 minus 143. Which means 604, which is still a lot. And then... I'm gonna gain like 30-ish, plus 30-ish. Like 90... 
40. Like another 130? It's like 1400 gold. Yeah. The only thing is like, what if this is also, also a shop? All right, well, in case they do something, I have them now, yay me. Totally gonna be a legendary shop, maybe. Uh, starts at four, right? Four, three, two, attack, attack. Okay, so this hits his second attack. Um, okay. Instead of playing the Bouncing Flask, I'm going to well aid plan so I can hold on to this free footwork. So that way I can nightmare it before shit gets out of control. Yeah, three and then two. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Hmm. Fucking... Why does Noxious Fumes have to cost three, like, every single time? Okay, that's fine. As long as I get the footworks out, it's not that big a deal. Okay. I didn't want to dig with acrobatics because I might hit a nightmare and not be able to play it. Hello. Alright, cool. Now I can start, like, really slapping his baloney. Because I'm going to have, what, 15 dexterity? Yeah, something absurd like that. Yeah. Absurdity is right. I get to keep some of this. Five of it? Yeah, I do. So this is a pretty good time to start building up obscene amounts of block. Okay, cool. So I get to keep a bunch. Nice. There's our fumes, there's our flask. Okay, yeah, this fight is over. Not really a point to doing that, is there? I'd rather just hold another 20 block. I think that's probably more valuable. Rock Shuriken? That happened. Honestly, paying two energy for 20 block is not a bad deal. Like, at all. Of course, I'll play all the free stuff first. He's weak forever. I'm not going to worry about this leg sweep. May as well jack up his poison a little bit. I think... I think our block is going up. Very slowly. Well, it's not that slow. It's going up by, like, eight or something a turn. Which is pretty good, considering... Considering we're losing, like, you know, upwards of 50 from him and the minus 15, since Calipers does not keep it all. Hold on to any defense anymore, he should be dead. Yep. I lost block that time. Okay, good fight. Yeah, if I had like a blood vial or something, I don't see that doing anything. Two corpse explosions.
Is this the part where I upgrade Willy plans? This might be the part where I upgrade Willy plans. I need the key. No, I'm taking the key. All right, well, that was not lined up for Cryptomancer at all. Um, that's perfectly fine. What am I doing? Explosion, this. I don't think I'm going for the big nightmare footwork play right away. I could honestly like nightmare like piercing whale or dagger spray and do pretty much just as well in this fight. I think that means I'm playing this and this. Okay, so you're dead. I need to deal one damage to this idiot. Well, see you later. Hey, this is going to hurt. Not that bad. Six damage. Oh, right, I didn't have well-laid plans in place. Shit. I was like, okay, now I'll hold the footwork. That plan didn't work out. Good nightmare corpse explosion. Yikes. More harm to my body. I don't need to hit you again. Because I'm about to get three more corpse explosions. Free ones at that. Reptomancer, you are in for a world of pain. It's like 84 damage. Oh, she also has 27. Yeah, she's she's done. She's done. That could be a good one. Eagle pillow plus Renuk Decahedron synergy. I gotta take the key here. Rip. Dunzo for funzo. Well, goddamn. Yeah, there's, I'm not going through three hallway fights, a super elite, and two boss fights with a pain in my deck. That's just not happening. Alright, so what's the upgrade then? Well laid plans? Well laid plans. Well laid plans. Well laid plans. Less. Not the best time for instance, burner. I, I could hold the free survivor, but I think keeping him weak is kind of important. Okay, where the fuck is Nightmare? Uh, still no Nightmare? All right, well, I'm gonna throw more weak on him now. 
the shuriken. Cool. Okay, he's not hitting that hard. I take one damage? Oh, I'm not gonna be able to draw all these cards next turn. Uh, just toss all of it. I'm gonna have three- I'm gonna draw a tank- I'm gonna have three extra cards, and then it's gonna try to draw me ten. And it's not gonna be able to. Alright, well, I've won the fight. So there's that. I'll keep a piercing whale, because... He likes to- yeah. Attack for like 15 times 3 and stuff like that. And then it becomes 11 times 3, and that's just. We're good. Yeah, there's still an Envenom in there. Doesn't matter. He's pretty much already toast. Good fight. What do I want this on? It can't be Reptomancer, so... It's hard to say. Not the best turn for Incense Burner. Wow, that's really bad. Um, hmm. Get some blocking. So I take fifteen. Oh boy. Still kicking. I'm going to Nightmare. It's good at the time. Is any to hit him with that? Yeah, I don't need to keep any of that block. How about now? Yeah, the neutralize isn't anything here at this point. Okay. If we could get just like, uh, what? Maybe max health, giant head? And then just like not drawing trash, then I should be good. No. One more hallway fight, baby. Okay, uh, this could be dangerous. Do I want to nightmare? Eh, not really. That was so little energy to use. Man, this sucks. Taking 24, so I'm just gonna take five here. Unless I don't use it.
It's like an extra 18 damage against him. Over three turns. That's unfortunate to hear, Disputes. Maybe brushing your teeth will make you feel better. Oh, wait. No, they're weakened now. Yeah, they're only hitting for seven. Okay, I'm already full blocking. Woo! Turns out, totally fine. Still taking 10 damage. Unless, can I just kill him right now? Totally can. Can I? Yep, yeah, okay, no, that kills him exactly. Can I do this? Can I do this? Got him. The second Zoro fight in the game is telling me... Yeah, no, I ignored all of the story and everything. Story is an ignorant slut who will lie to you no matter what. Fuck! Oh! Ooh, excuse me. Off! I need some juice! Some power! Some majesty! The baby monster? Uh, do you mean, uh, Dauntless Disputes? I literally don't have a well-laid plan, so I may as well just play this. I'm already going to full block on account of Thread Needle. Good. Good. That's what I needed. I needed him to hit me for 33 on turn 2. Okay. Should have just played the defend. Try to hold some extra block for next turn. Full block? Um, actually, not quite with that burn. Now it's full block. Um, oh right, I get to hold both of these. I was, I clicked the predator, and then I'm like, wait a minute, no, I want the defend. And it turns out I get to do both. Yeah, goes off before the thread needle. Figured I might just need to hold the defend. Instead of using it to block two, blocking 11 might be more worthwhile. do this, just so I'm not taking it. Yeah. Okay. His poison's reasonably high, but it's still gonna take him a while to die. Didn't mean to die, but I did. Don't have Venom up yet. I'm gonna hold on to these two. He is no longer weak. Unfortunate. Never mind. He's very, very weak. Jesus. I'm guessing he's not going to be attacking next turn while I've got Incense Burner up. It's just my guess. Cool. Oh, 
Okay, almost dead. Never mind, right, intangible. Oh, I'm already full blocking? That I am. Hold on to the dude. T two dagger sprays and then just kill him next turn. Actually, I think he dies to poison anyway. Or not. Cool. See you later, Nemesis. War paint. I'll take it. Alright, uh, absolutely have to nab. Oh, Runic Pello. I mean, not Runic Pello. Regal Pello. Okay, that helps a lot. Alright, how am I doing this? There are two Corpse Exclusions in this deck. Probably have to play the Footworks. And just, well, Nightmare the Piercing Wheels, I think. Just need to find a corpse explosion or two. That's true, but they'd have to be cheap. Because, like, you see how much damage this bird has already taken. Like, they'd have to cost zero so that I could dump them all on, on him on one turn. Otherwise, he'd just die and explode before I even got half of them off. Corpse Explosion is mostly for clearing the birds and not damaging the awakened one anyway. I think I'm skipping this footwork. Mostly because Corpse Explosion is in my hand and that footwork costs too much. Like, I'd rather just kill him as fast as possible. Like, I still haven't even seen my nightmare. But casting the Corpse Explosion there guarantees he's already dead. Willing to take one more damage to do 54 damage to him? It seems like it's probably a good deal, huh? Oh, never mind. I have a backflip. I'm fine. Backflip first. Put that one on him. So he deals 50 damage. Then he deals 54 damage. Cool. Better room in a Palico Harpist. What? Oh, you just mean like your Palico has a harp? Or... Um, yikes. Get to hold a little bit of block. Your room has a giant harp with two... Uh, what? I've never seen that. I'm calling hacks right now. Yeah... Okay, so I could probably get away with playing two more powers. Not gonna be Noxious Fumes. Because then when I Piercing Whale, he'll go down to two strength. Which at six dexterity is not that bad to deal with. How many Piercing Whales are left? Three? Rest of the room is dope too, but the main thing is the music is nice. All I- I literally just have my palico that like sits in the corner. The one palico who I can use to access the training room and do tail raider safaris. And my cactar who just sits in the middle of the room and spins. Mm, well, that's a lot of damage.
Thank you, Jesus. Oh, hey. You gained his strength. Apparently the second time, too. Let's take another one. Change your room to the private suite. Sounds like some kind of baloney. I don't want to draw into a well-laid plant and not be able to play it, so I'm just gonna stop there. Of course it costs two. Can't hold the well-laid plants without playing well-laid plants. Also, his poison's only at 11. Yeah, I'm nowhere near flipping him. Incense Burner being a champion. No, this whole hand actually kind of sucks. I want to use the piercing wheel. I'll take another three. Farewell to Thread Needle. Alright, well, there's the other footwork. Alright, good luck with your game remove disputes. Okay. We're getting close. There's still two piercing whales? Yeah. That's nine times four well weakened. Oof. Oof. Shit. Nope. I needed like a zero cost well laid plans right now. I'm not gonna get to scream him down. It's a bit of a problem. Of course. Doesn't do anything. Basically, just building up some extra block for next turn. Ah, uh, okay. I need to get him weak. Quickly means I probably want to just draw a bunch of extra cards. There's a neutralize in my hand. Jesus Christ. I have two leg sweeps, and we're drawing ten cards. None of these are leg sweep. One of these is leg sweep. He's only hitting for 48. Not anymore. Let's play the Invenom. Okay. Holding the Fumes. Because that's going to be important to get on him. Again. Well, guess what I've got. Still can't play the Fumes. Excuse me. Double acrobatics? Sure. Everything else in the hand costs three, so. Mmm. 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 That's really bad. I have to hope acrobatics draws me free stuff. Well, not the free stuff I was really looking for. 
could hope really hard the backflip. No. no. Yeah, those voids are like the worst thing ever. Am I dead? Nope. That's fine. We'll just nap at the next bonfire. I've got a pillow and everything for it. I want to hold that backflip. Okay. Alright, yeah, if I draw the void at the same time, I have incense burner up. I need to make sure this fight ends on four. Fuck, that's really hard to do. Time for the big, big brain calculator plays. 277 minus 24, 26, 28, 30, 32. This is not, e oh, you're right. This isn't even the second boss. Never mind. you're totally right. This oh my fucking God. This is the first boss. Oh, wow, I'm in much deeper trouble. This is the first boss. That's... That's bad. That's very bad. Another void. No biggie. Okay. Yeah, so it actually doesn't matter that much. Although if I'm only at 10, I still probably want it at like 4-ish. Holy fuck, dude. I need you to stop. He's not stopping? I died? I think I'm dead. 25, 35. Yeah, that's death. Unless... No, 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 no. 28. No, I'm not dead. Not very alive, but I'm not dead. I don't think I'm making it through the next fight, though. void in and then of course I draw the void right away and then he hits me for a shit billion and then I die. Okay, I didn't die. I have to be careful with this backflip though. By careful, I mean just like not play it at all. Because if I drew the void this turn, I'll just block with my money. I'd love to. I think now I'm dead. Right? Right? Yeah. Did I have thrown this at him right at the start? Would that six damage a turn have mattered? Maybe. It only needed to do, like, what? 35 damage. Yeah. 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 Really needed an energy. Really needed a fourth energy. Fourth energy would have been very useful. Pay him to go away. Yeah. I really need that sound clip. I'll pay you $100 to fuck off. <sighs> hmm.
Okay. Well, it is unfortunately that time once again. So if you liked what you saw, whoops, feel free to follow both here on Twitch as well as the various social media and video hosting platforms linked down below. Next stream is tomorrow night from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you don't know what time that is in your time zones, that is, shut up me, that is approximately 21 hours and 49 minutes from right now. At that time, we'll be continuing our never ending quest to Slay the Spire. You can check out previous episodes of both Slay the Spire as well as other games I've streamed in the past at both YouTube and BitChute linked down below. And feel free to join the community Discord, which is also linked down below. We're going to go raid somebody. I'm not going to go longer tonight. I've been doing that quite frequently. I'm kind of tired. I might play some Monster Hunter World offline or whatever, but, or like, off stream. So, because, so got to do that Jogger's quest. But anyway, uh, feel free to stick around for the raid, whether you do or not. Thank you for joining me. 